Hello, it's Angie, your independent Sensi consultant, and I'm here today to talk to you about Bring Back My Bar. So this fall and winter's Bring Back My Bar scents, it's 20 cents, and they're going to be available for the month of December. Some of them I have smelled before, some of them I have not smelled before. Um, some of them I'm excited for, some of them I'm met about. I'm excited to go through them with you though. Okay, so we have 20 scents and I'm going to read you the scent descriptions and let you know what I think of them and if I've ever experienced these lovely scents. Now remember in December, I'll be back giving you the full rundown uh, as I sniff them all because I'm going to order the whole set. I always order the whole set. Okay, so the very first one is a wink and a smile. This flirty, girly, fresh scent of tulips and daffodils in full bloom rounded out with plummy lemonade. So I do remember that scent and I do remember liking it. I think it must not be that floral because I'm not as into florals, but I'm not gonna put money on that because I'm counting on my memory. Okay, so number two is Amber Hollow, clove leaf, cardamom, and dark amber spice up a warm cedarwood base. So I don't like Amber Hollow. Um, you win some, you lose some, right? Um, apple s'mores, harvest apples, cinnamon glaze, and a drop of coconut milk lend a tantalizing twist to classic toasted marshmallow, vanilla creme, and warm cedar wood. It sounds like all things that I would like, but I've actually sniffed that scent and I don't actually like it. Um, it has that around the campfire smokiness with like a sweet apple -y, cinnamon, woodsy, marshmallowy type note. It's, it's really um, kind of weird to me because it's got that like wood. And, and it, they just said warm cedar wood, but it's like literally cedar wood that's like burnt. So it's not, again, not my favorite. A lot of people love apple s'mores. Everybody voted for these. These are the top 20 that were voted for. So people do like them. Okay, so next is black currant bubbly, and it's okay. I like this. I've smelled this one before too. Okay, champagne bubbles stir black currant, sweet orange, and vanilla sugar. So I'm excited about that one. Um, it's fruity and it's it's fruity in a like not silly way, if that makes sense. Um, like in a grown up a grown up fruit. Cashmere pear. I have not smelled this. I'm very excited to smell this. I tend to like pear, unless it's paired with pumpkin. Okay, so the description for cashmere pear. Slip into sensual white amber, Madagascar vanilla, silky pear, and warm red ginger. A blend as smooth and luxurious as fine spun cashmere. Okay, is it me or does that sound like a bedroom scent? Like, like you're having pear cocktails in your bedroom. I don't know. Sounds kind of good. Okay. Central Park Pralines. I remember this scent. It was maybe a little too rich and sweet for me at the time, but I may have matured. I tend to like bakery scents more now than I did back when this was out. So I'm curious to see how I feel about it now because we do our noses change over time. Okay, so Central Park Pralines, a decadent confection of rich roasted pecans, buttery caramel, and cinnamon sugar. And that's how I remember it. We'll see if I like it this time. Cozy Chai. I'm very excited about Cozy Chai, guys. Warm, spicy cinnamon, vanilla bean, and caramel. I'm ready for that. I'm in it. I'm ready. Cutie Pie Cupcake. I have had this one and I like it. And Olivia likes it. Sweet Clementine and Yellow Cake Batter with Vanilla and Sugary Icing. It's good. It smells like an orangey flavored cupcake. Lavender and White Balsam. Lavender freshened by wintry white balsam and crisp amber. So I'm waiting for a Scentsy box and I keep hoping I'm going to hear it. Um... I can't remember if I've smelled lavender and white balsam before, but it sounds like something I would like. So I'm feeling confident that I'm going to like that one. We'll see. Marshmallow mint. 
Buttermint and Marshmallow make merry beneath an amber veil. Okay, so I don't know if I remember Marshmallow Mint, but I've heard really good things, and I'm definitely interested in trying it. Um, I feel like I like Vanilla Mint. It's my favorite, like, minty scent. Um, so I feel like it's going to be similar. Also, I'm not, like, super into my house smelling like toothpaste. So sometimes um, minty scents kind of throw me off, but that one doesn't sound toothpastey. So I'm hoping. I'm hoping, guys. Um, my Dear Watson. That's a fan favorite. It's one of my... It's Back in my day, I really liked the manly cologne scents. I have kind of verged away from that, and I'm more delicate and feminine bakery and gourmand scents. So I'm curious to see how I feel about My Dear Watson now. We'll see. Um, My Dear Watson is described as refreshing bergamot contrasted with mint, cedar, and suede. Sophisticated and smart. I mean, that describes me to a T. Sophisticated and smart. So I feel like maybe... We'll see. Painted leaves wander through blue spruce, red maple, and golden woods. I don't remember ever smelling painted leaves, but I feel like it could be good. It could be good. I'm, I'm interested in trying it out. Peppermint Dreams, a warm rush of chocolate cupcake sweetness cooled by a blast of fresh mint. So I'm into that. I think that that's going to be amazing. Again, not super into peppermint, but I think that the cupcake thing, like I feel like it's going to be like a thin mint and I'm totally all about that. So I'm definitely curious to sniff peppermint dreams. Plum and white woods. I feel like I remember that scent, but I don't really remember. So plum and white woods. Sensi describes it as sweet raspberry preserves and damson plum weave through vanilla orchid. It sounds good. It sounds like it could be really, really good. Pumpkin marshmallow. Sticky, sweet marshmallows smoothed, spooned onto fresh baked pumpkin and wrapped in a graham cracker crust. Guys, why isn't this out now? I mean, do I think I want to smell pumpkin marshmallow in December? Probably not, but am I glad it's coming back so I can add it to my Scentsy Club so I can warm it in October where it belongs? Yes. <laughs> I mean, it sounds great. It sounds awesome. Quiet Grove. A soft spell of bergamot, jasmine, and sandalwood. I've never smelled Quiet Grove. I'm excited to give that one a, a shot. Uh, sweet Amber and Freesia. Crisp layers of verbena blossom, freesia, and sweet amber. I don't know about that one. I've never smelled it. And I'm not sure how I feel about the description or the name. I'm hoping that it's going to be better than I expect. The next one I actually voted for um, because so many people rave about it and I don't think I've ever smelled it. I may have smelled it before, but if I do, I don't recall. And I've only recently started liking the bakery scents. So this is definitely bakery. It's definitely, definitely gourmand. It's sweet plum pastry. Black plum and toasted coconut garnish a marshmallow cloud okay so first of all is anybody else noticing the marshmallow theme going through this whole list why did sensi consultants and consumers and fans vote on so many marshmallow scents but i did vote for sweet plum pastry and i'm very excited to give it a try only because everybody raves about it like i feel like i should just automatically add it to my sensi club like accept that it's going to be the best scent ever and acknowledge that existence and be like okay i'm done with it i want sweet plum pastry too i want to jump on the bandwagon i'm drinking the kool-aid i'm just gonna yes just give me all of the things in sweet plum pastry and surely since he's gonna start making all of the things in sweet plum pastry like why don't we have pods why don't we have laundry doesn't everybody want their laundry to smell like a pastry i do okay next we have vanilla oud Sweet vanilla grounded by leather and earthy oud wood. Okay, I feel like I remember this scent, but I don't remember whether I liked it or not. So I I think I remember this scent being in the catalog. I'm not a huge 
vanilla person necessarily, which is weird for somebody who said that they're getting into bakery. Okay, so I don't love vanilla. And I don't necessarily like caramel. Um, I'm excited about this because of the leather and the wood. But we'll see how that goes. We'll see how it blends with the vanilla. I feel like I might like this one. Vanilla suede. Classic, comforting vanilla combined with rich amber and hints of sandalwood and spice. A cozy and subtly masculine fragrance. Vanilla suede. Okay, so I have smelled that one before. I feel like the manliness helps offset the sweetness of vanilla. Vanilla's hard for me because there's two types of vanilla. There's bakery vanilla, like a vanilla cupcake, and then there's like bath and body vanilla that's like fake, um, like the body sprays and stuff that you can get from like Bath and Body Works. And that's not the same thing as like a vanilla cupcake. And so um, I think I like vanilla in like vanilla bean buttercream because it's like that cupcake kind of vanilla. So some of these vanilla things, I'm like, what kind of vanilla are we talking about? Like there's, there's like vanilla extract and then there's like the vanilla body spray, you know, you know what I mean. All right, so um, I should be able to do one more video today um, where I will let you guys know how I feel about the scent and warmer of the month for October. I've already reviewed the scent um, in a tester. I'm hoping that the brick and the bar smell just as good as that tester because I'm kind of in love. And anyway, I will talk to you guys soon. I will see you. Bye.